attendees are in listen only mode. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to June's Great Garment Graphics webinar presented by Transfer Express. My name is Andy Curtis, and I am the uh, training coordinator here at Transfer Express. It's my pleasure to come to you, uh, as I usually do once a month, to talk to you about what's going on in the world of transfers. Uh, today's webinar is Sizzlin' Summer Custom Printing Sales, and on the line with me is Jody from Great Garment Graphics. Hi, Jody. How you doing? Hi, Andy. Thank you so much for joining us today, and thanks to everyone else who's attending. Uh, Jody is going to be the lady behind the curtain during the webinar. If you've never joined us before, uh, the way it works is I'm going to talk at you for a little while about today's topic. Uh, Jody is going to be monitoring the chat box behind the scenes there. If you have any questions, she's going to try and help you out. And uh, hopefully at the end here, we'll have a couple minutes that we can do some Q&A. So uh, Jody's going to be keeping track of all that good stuff while I continue to go on about the topic. So if you have any questions and I do not cover them, please, please, please type the questions into the box and uh, either Jody will answer them or we will answer them during the webinar or after the webinar. So regardless, we will answer your questions. So um, Jody, do you have a poll ready for us by chance? Oh, okay. Oh, no, no poll today. I apologize. Uh, my, my mistake. So, uh, you know what? Uh, we're going to forego the regular beginning where we would normally have a poll. We're just going to get right started into the topic. Uh, so, Sizzlin Summer Custom Printing Sales. The idea here, folks, is that during the summer months, we have special events, special things, different, different stuff happening all over the country that uh, it doesn't happen any other time of year. That only happens during the great warmer months. And uh, no matter what those things are, whether they're picnics or they're church events or they're family events, I, regardless of the event, there's always a shirt to be made for it. Uh, there are always uh, different customizable things to produce, whether they be shirts, whether they be uh, ad specialty items. So we're going to talk about all the great things you can decorate, all the great things you can do in the summer months. The goal here today is I'm going to try and give you all some ideas. I'm going to try to give you all some places to start, some things that you can try to get into, and I'm going to give you a couple little hints and tips along the way about how to go about doing these things. And I'm going to show you a whole bunch of design ideas too. So uh, obviously half the battle is not just securing the business, but it's having the designs, the artwork, having the wherewithal, the uh, ideas to put together to show people what you can do for their events. So uh, we're going to cover all those topics here. And as always, if you have questions, type them into the box. So without further ado, we're going to get moving here. Uh, the very first topic we're going to talk about is family reunions. Uh, when I started working here at Transfer Express many years ago, I heard somebody say family reunion season. And I thought that was just the funniest thing in the world. I kind of figured it was a joke. And lo and behold, you discover in this industry that family reunion season is a real season. <laughs> it, uh, it's just like sports, actually. Uh, family reunion season tends to be these warmer months, uh, June to September. Uh, and if your family is anything like mine, uh, families love a good excuse to get shirts together, to have all the kids, all the aunts and uncles, and moms and dads be wearing all the same shirts. It's always a fun photo op. So uh, family reunion season tends to garner a lot of shirt sales. Um, what's amazing about family reunions, though, is that once you've done it for a family once, once you have actually produced a t-shirt for them once, odds are very good they're going to come back year after year and continue to get their shirts from you. And the best part is a lot of times these families are totally happy with the same artwork that they had the year before. Maybe they mix it up every couple of years. Again, if your families that are buying from you guys or anything like my family, uh, we, we have the same artwork that we use a couple of years in a row before we finally decide to change it up. So uh, it's the perfect sale because you can literally just, they'll continue to come back to you to reorder again and again and again. Um, now, a trick to family reunion season that people will oftentimes sort of get stuck on and not know how to deal with, families will oftentimes tell you they need X amount of shirts for adults and X amount of shirts for youths. Now, the catch to this is if you print a youth size shirt and an adult size shirt, two different size transfers, you're going to end up having two different orders with two different prices. You're going to get a little bit of a, a price hike there. It's going to be more expensive. If you find one size that fits on both adult and youth, you save yourself a whole bucket load of money. 
Um, and it's very easy to do, actually. If you have a youth shirt, an adult shirt, and you do some measuring, you very quickly discover that the printable area is not a heck of a lot different between the two. Uh, as a matter of fact, for a youth shirt, uh, generally a youth large, youth medium size is around 10 by 10, 10 and a half by 10 and a half. Uh, inches, the adult size shirts are 11 by 11. So if you find a happy medium to make all the shirts that one size, that's that saves you a whole lot of cash. And then of course, uh, don't think just shirts. Uh, when we're talking family reunions, depending on the size of the family, of course, and what exactly they're uh, doing, um, always probe a little bit. Probe your families when they come to you for these shirts. Probe them and find out what exactly they're doing because there's all sorts of little add-ons you can offer. Um, and I'm going to show you some of these in the pictures coming up here in the next couple slides. But uh, cooking mitts. If you're going to do a family barbecue type situation, then of course you're going to have barbecue mitts. And hey, uh, why not be uh, the one providing them with their personalized family barbecue mitts? Uh, then also we've got tote bags uh, for city trips. We've got beach towels. Um, umbrellas also for that whole beach theme or for just sun or rain, visors, hats. Depending on what they're doing, there's all sorts of fun little add-ons you can certainly do for family reunion season. So don't, don't be trapped in that box of just t-shirts. Think outside the box. Remember there's tons more that you can fit into your heat press. Uh, one that's not on here, one of my favorites is canned koozies. Um, Maybe this is speaking uh, to my family a little bit, <laughs> but uh, our family loves can koozies, actually. We have can koozies from the last couple of uh, family reunions, so another fun little thing. And uh, Rotor Brothers uh, is our uh, is a uh, local wholesaler, not local, I'm sorry, but a, a wholesaler in our industry that uh, Rotor Brothers provides all these different things. You can purchase just about anything we talk about today from Rotor Brothers, including the can koozies, the uh, tote bags, the towels, all that stuff. So um, easy to get. So let's look at some examples. Um, one of my favorite examples is the far left-hand side on this slide, uh, the gentleman wearing the black t-shirt that says Johnson Family Reunion. This is a favorite because what we've done here is we've actually got the family members' names on the shirt. Now, uh, keep in mind that if you do decide to go that direction where you're utilizing family members' names, that there is an extra cost that can be associated, uh, a typesetting cost to typeset all those names. Uh, if you are interested in going that direction, I recommend you give our customer service department a call and your customer service rep can definitely guide you through the way to do that order without incurring any extra fees. Um, so the uh, um, other example on this shirt is the one in the middle. I love the one in the middle too because what we've done here is just some creative use of color, uh, contrast, get something uh, like we've got the light yellow going on there, that green color on the yellow t-shirt, but you use it with the black and the orange and suddenly it becomes a really cool contrast. So uh, another great idea, um, if you give families something that's got a little bit of spice to it, something that keeps it interesting, then it's going to make uh, them so much more eager to come back to you. All right, the next slide here gives you, oh, there it is. There's our example of the uh, grilling mitt there, the gentleman in the bottom uh, uh, leftmost picture there. So the grilling mitt is very simple. It, again, people will get caught up in the idea that, oh, it's a grilling mitt. How do you press a grilling mitt? How do you press a, an oven mitt? I don't, I don't know how to do that. All it is is just cotton on the outside of that. It's just a normal fabric. There's nothing special to it. Um, so literally, we've just got our plain goof-proof transfers on there. Uh, nothing special. It didn't take any extra steps unless you have the uh, unless you have any kind of obstruction. If you have some thick seams, if you have a thumb, uh, the little place where your thumb goes. If you have one of those in the way, then you might have to put a piece of flat material, like a print perfect pad from Stalls ID Direct, for example, inside the mitt to help you out with the flat surface. Um, but that same gentleman, he's also wearing a photographic image there. You'll notice that. There's a great photograph of the family. Um, and don't be afraid to get photographic. A lot of our examples that you'll see uh, throughout the webinar here, a lot of them are just plain. It's text. It's clip art. Uh, but don't be afraid to get photographic. Um, the uh, the uh, CAD print product that we carry is uh, perfect for this. Uh, the white t-shirt here allowed us to do CAD print clear, which is very sheer, very light. Uh, while the family's running around the woods and doing the barbecuing and stuff, the CAD print clear is very light, so it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't make them sweat more. It doesn't feel like you're wearing plastic or anything like that. So some definite positives here. And as we continue on to a couple more examples, uh, no, now notice the girl in the upper left-hand corner uh, wearing the reunion uh, t-shirt upper left. Uh, 
we've gone one color there. And don't be afraid to start with one color, uh, especially with the uh, state that the economy is in. If uh, all the families are trying to save a little bit of cash right now, so starting hard poor with two and three color designs might not always be the best way to start. If you start with a one color design when you're proposing these uh, designs, when you're going over the artwork with your families, start with one color. Uh, you can certainly do some fun things with just one color, uh, especially if you start with like a unique colored t-shirt. In the example there, we've got our uh, mid-blue on a uh, kiwi green colored t-shirt, so a fantastic color combination. Uh, sticks out a little bit. And of course, if your family does have a little bit of extra cash, then that whole multicolor concept goes a long way, as you can see here. We've got some fun color combos. And then our gentleman in the lower left is also sporting another one of our uh, name t-shirts. He's got his uh, family names uh, sort of scattered around the tree on his shirt. I'm not sure how many you can see it there. Um, and again, we've got some great options for that, some uh, uh, ways to save. Uh, if you do have to do the list of names, you might incur a typesetting fee, or there's ways to get around that. The rep can always guide you through that. All right, so family reunions aside, uh, another thing is camps. Now, summer camps include so many different things. There's an absolute ton of uh, camps out there. Um, the, uh, the camps that are in our area are very easy to find. And again, I, I can give you examples here in the uh, Ohio area. We're based out of Mentor, Ohio. Uh, the camps in our area are very easy to spot, actually, because they're all over the place. There's high school camps. Uh, it's always easy to get a hold of those if you get a hold of your local high school, either on the website uh, or uh, via phone. If you get a hold of your local high school and find out um, what camps they're sponsoring, uh, if you do business with a local high school, if you do any of their sports jerseys, then you can always ask if they're doing any summer camps for their baseball team or for the football team. Uh, if you uh, hit your city, for example, here the city of Mentor in Ohio, if you were to hit the city of Mentor's website, you would discover that there is a, a city recreational day camp. Uh, so local camps are, are pretty easy to find. You've just got to have a little bit of tenacity. You've got to have a little bit of uh, stick to and do some digging on the Internet. But um, it's easy to find camps. And one of the most beautiful parts about these camps is that the large quantities that they order. Um, now, again, uh, just for sheer example, the city of Mentor has a, a day camp. And uh, every week, uh, it's a new set of kids that come in. And, of course, every set of kids that comes in every week gets another set of shirts. So it, it's sort of a... a it's almost a gold mine because these people are constantly cycling kids in and out of these camps uh, if it's an all summer deal especially and don't forget of course aside from just the kids going to the camp then we need counselor shirts and the counselors cycle them out usually throughout the summer too so another great example of uh, of uh, return business or constantly uh, overturning business um, and again, like I mentioned before, sports teams, we all know that the local athletes like to keep up with their skills during the summer months. So uh, the football uh, camps, baseball camps, and cheer camps especially, uh, spirit camps, all that kind of stuff, there's all sorts of camps out there. Um, and again, hitting a city's website, hitting a high school's website, giving a high school a call. School has not wrapped up in all parts of the country just yet. I know that some of the kids out here in the mentor area are still going to school, for example. So. Um, Give the high schools a call before summer's out. Uh, find out what's going on in terms of camps. Um, and of course, continue to think outside the box, folks. If we're talking about a summer camp, uh, if their summer camp has a lake, uh, Camp Whitewood, not too far from here, Camp Whitewood's got a lake. So needless to say, Camp Whitewood, they're going to need some towels too, not just uh, shirts. And if it's in the woods, if you're in a colder part of the country, maybe you do shirts. Maybe they need hoodies too. Who knows? So think outside the box. Don't just be focused on the t-shirts for a camp order. Think about the other bits and pieces you could throw in there too. And now let's check out some examples, shall we? So uh, the girl in the bottom middle here is, is a great example of how, again, sort of thinking outside the box in terms of what to put on the shirt. This is a cheer camp, obviously, a Loyola cheer camp. Now, because it's a cheer camp, we went a little bit more creative. We didn't just go with plain flat colors. The example here, we're showing you our pearl prints. Uh, looks appears to be pearl copper, I think. Um, so again, uh, spicing it up a little bit with some extra color is certainly helpful. We have several different specialty transfer types to add some bling, to add some attention to the shirts, uh, like the, the pearl prints, the glitter prints, the puff prints. So um, if you are doing these camp shirts, keep in mind that there's more strategies to it than just mixing up the colors. You can certainly get in some of that bling, some of that really cool uh, color effect. 
couple more examples here, and uh, to that effect, actually, the bottom right-hand corner uh, where we've got center stage dance camp, uh, we've got some glitter print there. Uh, the glitter print that you're looking at is actually referred to as faux rhinestones, uh, and it's actually kind of clever. If you look at her shirt from a distance, it actually appears that there are rhinestones that are forming those shooting stars on her uh, center stage dance camp shirt. Um, but they're not actually rhinestones. They're just little dots of glitter ink. Uh, this is why we call them faux rhinestones, because they're not really rhinestones. They're just little dots of ink. And from a distance, they give you that rhinestone effect. So it's actually a very clever way to bling out a t-shirt without spending a whole bunch of extra money on rhinestones and all that good stuff. So um, in addition to that, you'll notice the little boy at the top left-hand corner. We've got Camp uh, Tippecanoe. And uh, say that word five times fast. Uh, Camp Tippecanoe. Uh, we've done something more colorful. Again, we've gone with our CAD print product. We've gone with our clear or crystal clear CAD print, and we've got 3D artwork actually right in our idea book. Um, if you if you look through our idea book, look through our website, we have 3D artwork that is specifically made for the CAD print product. Uh, artwork that is made to be photographic. That's made to be bright and vibrant and tons of color because our CAD print product, the color does not affect the price. So um, another great option, keep that in your back pocket if somebody's looking for something different. Sometimes you have these camps, uh, especially if it's somebody who's coming back to year after year after year, at some point they're going to want something fresh or you're going to want to offer them something fresh just to show them that you're keeping up with their business and trying to look out for their business. So the CAD Prince 3D artwork is certainly a great way to go. Uh, and keep in mind that the examples that you've seen so far of our CAD Print product have been on white shirts. Uh, this is just one of our many CAD Print products. They can go on white or color garments. These are just the uh, white ones that we've seen so far. All right, runs and walks. Uh, now, I know that our city cannot be the only city that has a ton of these. Um, there are just different events, different fundraisers, 5Ks, uh, 10Ks. There's all sorts of these marathons, walks, and runs that happen all over the place. And these days, it started off as, a, as something you saw for cancer. I, I know that we all saw the breast cancer walks years ago uh, when they first started. But these days, it's, it's more than just walking for a cure for breast cancer. There's, uh, there's all sorts of different events and different things. And keep in mind that some of the really massive events, they might already have t-shirt decorators attached to them. But there are a ton of these local events that are much smaller than the Susan G. Komen for a Cure events. Uh, these small events, they need shirts also. And it's as simple as doing some digging on the internet, looking for these events. Um, a lot of times, again, the same city websites that you found recreational information, these same city websites will tell you about any kind of event that they got going on. And that, that's, again, the perfect place to start digging for these. Uh, contact the event organizers. The earlier, the better. Get your foot in the door. Ask them if they have somebody making their t-shirts yet. Or ask them if they've taken uh, advantage of the t-shirt opportunities. Something to that effect. Uh, it takes a little bit of stick to on your part, but it is certainly easy to do, certainly possible. Um, so every participant in a run or a walk tends to get a t-shirt of some kind or another. Now, not, they don't always necessarily use it. Some of them do wear it for the event. Some of them keep it as commemorative. Regardless, uh, every participant gets a shirt. And keep in mind, especially when we're talking about any kind of uh, the breast cancer event especially, you get these teams that form together, and the teams want their own shirts, not just the shirt that everybody else is getting for the event. They want their own shirt, maybe their name on their shirt, something to that effect. So another great opportunity. Uh, sponsors, too. Uh, sometimes a company will sponsor a group of people to walk uh, with Transfer Express. We've done this a couple times. And, uh, of course, the sponsor would want their information on those shirts if they're sponsoring the team. So uh, just a couple different ways you can get your foot in the door for shirt decorating opportunities there. And then, again, with this whole thinking outside the box thing, banners. Banners are perfect for these events because banners uh, could be used by the sponsors. You could have uh, the ladies, uh, the people walking on the team, carrying the banner along with them as they're walking. Uh, banners at the starting line, banners at the finishing line, registration areas, the parking areas. There's all sorts of places that could have banners. And these banners could be advertising the event sponsors. They could be advertising the event itself. Uh, so another great way to tie everything together. 
So let's look at a couple examples here too. Now I think the catch with these events uh, is that we have to get creative with these because there are, uh, obviously these events have been happening for a little while now and you've got to get a little creative, whether it's the slogan that's creative or the artwork that's creative. And I think the lady wearing the pink hoodie on the far left here is the perfect example of this. Uh, we've got on the prowl for a cure, Team Wilson. And you'll notice what we've done is we've done the great, uh, looks like leopard print maybe, uh, looks like the leopard print inside the, uh, inside the ribbon and inside the Team Wilson. It's just a great way to spice it up a little bit. We've all seen a ton of these uh, walk and cure shirts, so um, the whole catch is to keep it interesting, keep the ideas coming, keep, keep the ideas changing. We don't want it to get stale and stagnant. This is what makes people turn to somebody else to do their business next year. Um, and again, uh, the girl on the far right here, we've got the whole banner thing going on. Uh, now this is a smaller banner that's just one person holding it, but we could take that idea and run with it. You can make a much larger banner for a couple people to hold too, or maybe just small banners like the one she's holding there, uh, either way. So a couple more here. Now, uh, there's some neat things here to point out on this page. Uh, the far left-hand pictures on the top and the bottom, uh, the, the uh, black one for Team Holloway on the top, and then the Collins Park uh, image on the bottom, the far left ones, uh, our transfers can go on performance wear. And as a matter of fact, that's what's actually happening with these two garments is their performance wear. Uh, the one on the top is black under armor. And the one on the bottom is a little bit looser fit, obviously, but uh, still performance wear. And our transfers do apply to it. Uh, if they are a looser fit performance wear, then our plain goof proof transfers work great. If it is a tight wearing performance wear, like under armor uh, type situation, then our CAD print product has a great stretch to it. We've also got elasti prints, depending on how much stretch you got going on. Um, so definitely do not count out doing any kind of performance wear, especially for these events. If you're talking about a relay event that's a little bit more serious, maybe not, it's not, not a cancer walk that's going to attract a lot of different kinds of people, maybe it's a big race type event, then if that's the case, you've got a lot of seriously competitive people who are in shape, uh, the Under Armour, the performance wear is a great direction to go with that actually. And another fun thing to point out here too is, again, with that idea of spicing it up and keeping it interesting, uh, the Team Doherty Survivor, the lady who is the second over on the top right there uh, with the ribbon there, uh, that's actually our puff print. And I know we can't really identify it very well in the picture, but uh, the white areas of her shirt are all puffed up, as a matter of fact, using our puff print. Now, it's a fantastic way to create a unique shirt, give it some texture. Uh, definitely a, a way to go if somebody's looking to spice things up and make it interesting. And then the girl at the top uh, top row, the far right, in the black and pink t-shirt for Team Taylor there, uh, that black and pink t-shirt is another way to spice things up that is uh, from Broder Brothers as well. Um, it looks like it's a double layer shirt, it's not, it's just uh, simply the pink is stitched around the edges of the black, so another great way to keep things interesting by offering shirts that are a little bit different than the year before. Maybe a little bit extra cost to them, but uh, it's definitely good to keep people's options open. And the next topic that we're going to talk about here is the golf outings. Uh, golf outings happen a lot in this area. We have a couple golf courses actually scattered around the Northeast Ohio area. So uh, again, I know we can't be the only people out here to do this. <laughs> um, golf outings are actually a, a great opportunity for you to take advantage of gang sheets. Uh, golf outings generally, when we're talking golf, we're talking, uh, perhaps we're talking hats, usually we're talking visors, so very small prints, and uh, of course polo shirts, and on a polo shirt you're not going to do a massive full-size transfer on the front, you're going to do a left chest transfer on a polo shirt. So what you've got happening at these golf outings is you have a whole bunch of small transfers. Now you can very easily take advantage of a gang sheet by putting all those small transfers together on the same piece of paper. So. Uh, golf outings are a great way to produce a whole bunch of transfers to do a whole bunch of stuff and save a lot of cash because you're printing them all on one piece of paper. Um, and don't forget again, uh, aside from just talking about shirts, polo shirts, hats, visors for the participants, we've got door prizes at these golf events. Umbrellas, golf towels are a great giveaway, especially uh, we've got the golfers held captive at these events, so golf towels are perfect, and we're going to talk about those on the next slide. Uh, golf bags, uh, whether the golf bag is nylon or polyester or cotton, canvas, whatever the golf bag might be made out of, there's a transfer that goes on it. Uh, and then the folding chairs, those canvas folding chairs, 
Uh, sometimes they're made out of a cotton canvas. Sometimes they're made, made out of a polyester material or a nylon material. Again, those folding chairs are the perfect thing to decorate. Uh, the panels will generally come off of them. They can be easily put into a heat press. And then, of course, participant gifts going on with the same topic, uh, the same products, golf towels and such, and banners. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of these here now. Um, the towels pictured here are just two examples of golf towels. Uh, the, the golf towels tend to come in terry cloth, I think is the most common one we tend to see. Keep in mind that when you apply on terry cloth, it's going to mat those loops down. Um, the thicker goof proof product works great. Uh, on that are the CAD print as well, works fantastic. Uh, if you have a uh, towel that's a little bit uh, uh, less pile, it's a little bit thinner, it doesn't have that uh, big heavy loops to it, then our hot split transfer works great on those. Uh, so the towels are definitely a great direction to go and there's no special special instructions. I think people sometimes are a little bit afraid to press on towels because it's not a request we get all the time. Don't be afraid to press on towels, very simple. Uh, very quick to do, and again, we're taking advantage of the fact that we've done that gang sheet with a whole bunch of small images on one sheet. Here's the big secret. If you're looking at that mentor golf outing towel at the top right, that mentor gol golf outing is about four and a half by four and a half, give or take, maybe a little bit more, maybe five by five. That's the same transfer that was on the left chest of the polo shirts for the golf outing. And if you time it just right, or if you uh, size it just right, rather, um, and you size it just a little bit smaller, that same image could fit on the hats if you're doing a golf outing hat, uh, depending on the crown size, of course. But um, So uh, you can use the same size print for a couple different things if you plan ahead a little bit and get creative. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the images at the very bottom out there that we see Team Langston. We see some uh, golf bags and we see some ball bags, it looks like. Uh, these are, again, these are totally doable, whether they're nylon, polyester, what have you. The product you're looking at at these bags is our CAD print product. This would be CAD print opaque as opposed to the uh, CAD print we've seen so far. The CAD print opaque applies to just about anything under the sun. Uh, the going joke is that if you can fit it under a heat press, you can probably put cap and opaque on it. So um, definitely, definitely doable. Uh, just keep in mind when you have something creatively shaped like these bags, you have to get a little bit creative in your application. You have to make sure you don't have any seams or zippers in the way. And if you do, you have to raise your surface area. This can be accomplished by hanging things off the sides of the press. Uh, you can put print perfect pads, which is a, a great uh, surface raising uh, item from stalls like direct. You can put print perfect pads up in there to do that. Um, just uh, make sure to plan ahead and think out how you're going to apply these before you actually go start ordering the products. Company picnics. Company picnics are another great way for uh, you to secure some business. Um, producing company picnic shirts also gives you an in with that company later on down the road if they ever need trade show shirts or any kind of uh, nice uh, corporate wear. Uh, but company picnics are generally a shirt they're looking for. It's going to be a one-day thing. Uh, they're looking for something cheap. They're looking for something that uh, they can give to all the employees, and all the employees' families. Everybody who comes to the picnic gets a shirt. Um, so generally with these, you're going to want to start with a cost-saving product. You're going to want to start with uh, one color transfer with a, a smaller cap print, something to save a little bit of cash. Um, also keep in mind, though, with that whole, whole uh, theme of thinking outside the box and getting beyond the shirts a little bit here, um, we can go the direction of employee recognition. Uh, at some people's uh, company picnics, they actually take the time to reward the employees, recognize the employees, and there's some fun things you can do there. Uh, customized uh, polo shirts, uh, umbrellas, jackets, bags, uh, anything you can fit into your heat press, you can slap the company's logo on. It's a perfect giveaway for these types of situations. And of course, again, with the banners. Welcome banners to greet the employees, banners directing the employees where their pavilion is at, um, all, all sorts of different ideas there. So. Uh, a good example, again, a cost-saving item. So the one in the picture here is a two-color transfer, um, a little bit more expensive, but uh, here's another example of a CAD print. Uh, this is, again, our CAD print clear. Uh, now, if you go with a CAD print that's a little bit smaller, CAD prints are priced based on the size. If you go with a CAD print that's a little bit smaller, you save some cash. 
Uh, and again, also CAD prints uh, do not have a minimum quantity to order, so if you have a smaller company you're trying to do these shirts for, CAD prints are great for that too. Uh, the minimum cost on a CAD print order is $25, so a very good way to save some money there. Church events. Uh, now, just using our little neck of the woods up here in Ohio as an example, there are an absolute ton of church events that happen around here. Um, there's a couple churches that all have different festivals. There's fish fries. There's um, uh, little theme park days. There's uh, fairs, all sorts of church stuff. Um, if you, if uh, you have a local church that has any amount of room, odds are they're doing some kind of festival or event. Uh, Vacation Bible School is another very popular one. Uh, and then, of course, if you've got a bigger church, you've got a youth group. If you have a bigger size youth group that has some money to play with, you've got uh, events where the youth groups go places like theme parks and uh, different cities, and they need shirts for this, of course. Um, and uh, again, another clever way, um, if you've ever followed some of our webinars where we've talked about how to sell to schools, we've given you some ideas of how to do fundraisers for schools, how to get some cash going, uh, how to uh, get a school to agree to a fundraiser by donating a portion of every shirt sold to the school. You can use that same train of thought for a church fundraiser. You can do the same idea, uh, apply that same logic, just instead of for a church, or uh, I'm sorry, instead of for a school's sports team, we're talking for a church's youth group. So uh, a couple ideas, a couple ways to get your church, church orders in there. Now, um, one catch to the Vacation Bible School theme. Uh, there is a, a network of Vacation Bible School churches that do produce their own artwork from time to time. Every summer we tend to get a theme uh, where we see an outpouring of the same piece of artwork several times. So there are times where, depending on the church you're dealing with, they might have joined this uh, group of churches and they might have their own artwork. Uh, of course, if they don't have their own artwork, we're going to talk at the end here about uh, how we can provide you with that. But just be aware, if they do provide you with artwork, totally doable. Uh, a little bit extra, um, it would be a custom order then instead of uh, one of our stock orders, but totally doable. So let's look at some church ideas here. So again, I think the catch to these is offering something unique, offering something different. Uh, so the far right-hand side, St. Mary's Festival, we've done our glitter product. Um, now the glitter product just offers uh, just, just the right amount of bling, uh, just the right amount of shine to it, so it keeps it fresh, keeps it interesting. Uh, the gentleman in the middle there, we've again gotten a little clever. We've done some fun colors, uh, some bright greens and the bright white there, and we've put it on a burnout shirt. Uh, burnout shirts are incredibly popular with the kids these days. Um, not just the kids, actually. The ladies in the office are on Transfer Express here with a lot of burnout shirts they get ordered. So the burnout shirts are popular because they are easily layered. They're very thin. They're very sheer. Guys can wear them just by themselves. Girls like to layer them with other shirts. So. Uh, pressing on a burnout shirt is very easy. Our hot split ink is fantastic on the burnout shirts because the hot split is so thin. Uh, the burnout shirt itself is very thin. Uh, and again, these shirts can be ordered from many different wholesalers. Uh, Broder Brothers uh, is one of them, a great place to get these burnout shirts from. So uh, just, a, again, a way to keep things interesting. A lot of these churches' events, they're getting the same things year after year. They're doing the same things over and over again. Um, at some point, they want to keep it cool. They want to keep it interesting. They want to do something fresh. So. Let's look at a couple more examples here. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Skip that. Uh, concerts, the next topic. Um, the uh, City of Mentor actually sponsors a uh, concert series, uh, Concerts in the Park, uh, and that's one way to look at it. Uh, there's, of course, just uh, actual bands and artists that come through now. Uh, big band, big artist, they have their own uh, their own shirt makers that they go through, but if you find uh, local bands, any, any local area bands, we've all got those bands in our cities that everybody knows who they are, the guys who make the circuit of the bars and the, the parks and the uh, amphitheaters in the area. Um, those bands, they need shirts too. Uh, so definitely, um, definitely some business to secure in the summer months when they're traveling and doing all their outdoor performances, and local performances, and all that fun stuff. Uh, now you can go with t-shirts that are for the event that actually have concert dates and that kind of stuff, or we can talk merchandise where we've got band members' names, images, that kind of stuff. So uh, here are two examples for you. Now, the one on the left, we've gone the CAD print route. Uh, we've got some great full color artwork there. Uh, it, if you can't tell, it says Guitar Fest, so it is like an outdoor concert series, and we've got some really cool fading and shading happening there with our CAD print product uh, and uh, really cool F. 
this wash t-shirt on top of that, again, our Broder Brothers product. On the right-hand side, we have a list of names, uh, sort of, or not names, I'm sorry, dates and cities. And that is another great way to go. Uh, Miller, Hayes, and the Family Band, and we've listed all the cities they're going to be at, all the dates they're going to be at. So another great way to go with these concert shirts. Um, if you have a local, a local park that puts on a concert series like we do, you might not have different cities as they're all happening in your city, but you can certainly list the dates and the themes or uh, what, uh, what each concert is, the name of each concert or the uh, style of music for each concert. So there's a bunch of different fun things you can do uh, when it comes to the local music scene. So this doesn't have to be like concerts in the way that you think of them either. On the left-hand side, again, it's Guitar Fest, so it's like a music festival. Uh, we have several of those that happen in the city of Cleveland, for example. So again, all of these events, all of these different things, no matter the size, big or small, there needs to be shirts for these. There needs to be garments, and if you take one thing off these people's plate, if you contact them and inquire if they have already secured shirts from somewhere, um, odds are they, uh, especially if you catch them early enough, they'll certainly take advantage of somebody hunting them out instead of them having to go looking. So, uh, Community events is another good one. Now, community events, this is certainly a broad topic because this can cover just about anything you can think of. Um, uh, in the city of Mentor, we have the It's Better in Mentor Festival. <laughs> so uh, it's sort of like a fair, street fair type situation. And again, uh, there's events like this in every city, uh, all sorts of fun stuff, car shows. I know we have a couple of those in the city of Cleveland. Uh, and of course, every city has a bunch of parades every summer. I, I think uh, we can find just about any reason to go to a parade. Who doesn't love a parade after all? Um, zoo events, uh, if, you, if you live near a bigger city, uh, for example, we have the Cleveland Zoo not too far from here. The Cleveland Zoo is always doing some kind of event or another, I think every weekend throughout the whole summer actually. Um, and every event they do, there needs to be shirts. Uh, county fairs are great. County fairs actually, there's a lot of fodder there. Uh, county fairs, you can sell shirts for the fair. You can have a booth at the fair selling shirts for other summer events. Um, and again, getting creative and thinking outside the box, we have our non-apparel products like window clings. So car show participants, window clings are great. Uh, window clings are great at county fair too. Um, then we've got banners advertising these events. So if you get in with the, again, checking out the city's website, and the earlier you get on this in the, in the season, the more likely you are to secure their business. Um, if you look at these events, uh, Needless to say, the city needs banners advertising the events. Uh, the city of Mentor is no different. We've got banners up near the highways advertising all these events. Uh, the volunteer staff shirts, I can speak to this one too. I, I am a volunteer at the uh, local Garfield Historic Site here in Mentor. And uh, when we do our summer events, we order staff shirts too. Uh, so everybody who goes to the local event knows who the staff are. So that's a great opportunity too. Um, and of course, any of these events, there's always the opportunity to sell shirts for the event, not just to the people who are working the events, not just the people in the parades but uh, or community theater performances, but everybody who attends. Offering shirts to all the spectators is, is a fantastic way to secure some business. And keep in mind, if you get in with these groups at a big event like this, if you get in with them, they're more likely to come back to you for all the other things we've talked about, family reunion shirts. Uh, so if you get in in with these people at a fair or a concert, something like that. They're going to need family reunion shirts come the next summer, and who are they going to go to? The people they got the cool shirts from last year. So uh, just a lot of these events can be networking for you. Even if you don't sell a whole lot of shirts right there at that, that, that location, it's a great networking chance for you to get out there and meet the people who you're selling to and find more people to sell to. But um, So let's go ahead and show you some examples of some community event shirts here now. It can be something as simple as play groups, local play groups. Uh, I, there's a whole lot of those out there too. Um, the City of Mentor has a great recreation website. So, uh, and I know again, we're not the only city that has this going on. If you go to your local city's website, I guarantee you that somewhere there they have a recreation section or a big city near you. They've got a recreation uh, uh, recreation section. You can find out the local camps, the local groups, the local any kind of sponsored group. Um, so uh, fire departments are another one. I know some local fire departments do summer events and stuff like that, summer cleanups, uh, that kind of thing. So certainly another item that you can do shirts for. I've got some other great examples on this uh, slide too. Uh, top left-hand corner, we've got a great community event, Schoolhouse Rock Live. That's a fun one. Um, 
the uh, any kind of community theater actually. And uh, what's great is these community theaters they pay the fees uh, to get the rights to advertise the play that they're putting on. So they can actually provide you with the artwork they need. In the example of Schoolhouse Rock Live, that's exactly what happened here. Um, these people had the permission because they paid to be able to do the play so they could provide us with the artwork to make the actual Schoolhouse Rock artwork uh, without any copyright infringement or anything like that. So definitely a beautiful thing. <laughs> um, and then bottom left-hand corner, we got a good example of event staff. Event staff, shirts do not have to be complicated, uh, especially if it's something simple like this. We've done a Voinovich Park event staff, something very simple. And by keeping it that simple where it's very rectangular, we could fit two per sheet. Uh, that design is uh, about 11 inches wide by about three, four inches tall, so we could fit three or four of those on a sheet very easily. And again, getting photographic, the little girl in the upper right-hand corner enjoying a day at the zoo, that's another one of our CAD print products, so do not hesitate to get, uh, get creative and get 3D. Fourth of July. Now, if you hang out to the end of the webinar, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here. If you hang out to the end of the webinar, I'm going to give you a deal, a little sale that we're going to put on for just you guys attending the webinar that uh, will sort of help any 4th of July celebrations you have coming up here. But uh, 4th of July is a great time of year, uh, because, especially for our industry, because we have so much going on, um, whether it's just local family parties, veteran events, uh, military branches, um, all sorts of different things happening at the 4th of July, different parties that we can customize shirts for. Sometimes family reunions, uh, family reunions center around the 4th of July, so you can sort of uh, kill two birds with one stone there, family reunion t-shirts that have a 4th of July theme. Um, so uh, we've got some really great ideas for these 4th of July shirts here. Uh, the example on this page, uh, the one that calls out to me is certainly the one at the bottom middle. Uh, the bottom middle there, we've got our Transfer Extreme product here at Transfer Express. This is our USA One design, one of our stock products, as a matter of fact. Uh, it, so it's a great heart sort of bursting out there and some really cool swirls, the whole uh, gothic swirl look with the reds and the blues and the white. But what we've done, what's really knocked this one out of the park, is then we've uh, done the whole multimedia idea here. We've taken the glitter flake letters, uh, we sell them in just uh, two sizes, uh, we've taken the bigger glitter flake letters in red and just stuck USA on there. Now, it's something that was done by hand. It takes a, just a couple seconds longer to do this because it's a two-step process. You have to put the transfer stream down first and then put the glitter on top of it. But this is just an example, and this doesn't have to be 4th of July either. The whole multimedia idea, that can be any event, any time of year. The kids love it. People love it when you mix the whole bling with non-bling, where you're putting a whole bunch of different products together to create one really cool look. That's what multimedia is, and it's very easy to accomplish. Or uh, as the girl on the uh, right hand side here, she can show you that just a plain transfer extreme by itself looks good. And then uh, we got creative with the one on the left there, just using our glitter product. That's just plain glitter red and blue together and put it on a white shirt. And there you go. You've got the patriotic look to it. Very cool design. So parties, summer parties. I. This, this one is almost as broad as community events, I think. There are so many different parties that happen in the summertime, uh, whether they're talking birthday parties, pool parties, bachelor parties, um, moving parties. I, <laughs> that's, that's a fun one that's going to happen for years soon. Moving parties, painting parties. There's all sorts of fun stuff that people do throughout uh, the summer, uh, different parties and events like that that we could certainly do shirts for. Uh, the bachelor, bachelorette shirts are always a great one. We do a lot of those. Those are always very fun. Um, and we can certainly get into the koozies now. Uh, koozies are easy to find uh, for those of you who are sitting there thinking, well, where in the world do you get a koozie from? Um, Broder Brothers has a great selection. Uh, and silly as it sounds, koozies.com is another great example. Um, so koozies are everywhere. Uh, and then, of course, tailgating parties. Uh, the Cleveland Browns might not be the best team in the NFL, but uh, I think it gives Clevelanders a great reason to get out there and have a good time. And tailgating parties are another great uh, excuse to make some cool custom shirts. Uh, and again, thinking outside the box, we show you an example of one of those uh, chairs that we talked about earlier for the golf events. This is another one of those fold-up chairs in the bottom picture here. Um, 
those fold-up chairs, the panels do come off. You can pull the actual fabric off of the chair frame to get it up into your heat press. And depending if it's nylon or polyester, we have products that will work with both. Just make sure you identify what it is before you start to uh, place orders for it. Uh, lunch bags, and of course, um, if you really want to get creative, we have our sticker products for coolers and for cars, uh, especially if you're going to do a little sports thing. Um, you have to have your uh, stickers and your uh, support your local team stuff. So I think the bachelorette party design that we've done the most is definitely the one at the top right there. We got wild at Amber's bachelorette party. Uh, that's one that we see a lot here, Transfer Express. Uh, so that's a great one. And of course, the colors make all the difference there. Uh, getting creative with a purple shirt, some light purple, and green and white. Uh, the bottom middle, we have another good example of the multimedia for you. Uh, we simply did a whole bunch of having fun birthday party. Uh, they all said having fun birthday party. You press those down first, then you go back with your glitter flake letters and put Emily's on top of the balloons there. It sticks just fine. You can put one over the other. They don't have any adhesion issues. Now, of course, this is an extra step in the process because you have to press the transfer first and the glitter flake Emily's over top of it, but you can definitely see that the results have a very cool effect. Parks and Recreation, uh, I've sort of talked about this intermittently throughout the webinar today. Parks and Recreation are pretty easy to hunt down. Uh, and again, Mentor is a smaller city. We're just a suburb of Cleveland, so uh, we're not a major city in and of ourselves. We do have a park system here in the city. Um, we have a skate park. We have a dog park. We've got a couple recreational parks. And this is just using our city as an example. It is certainly easy to find these cities. Uh, Think of your county, think of any larger cities nearby. And again, websites are the best place to start. Recreation sections, uh, every city has a recreation section. Even if it's not on the internet, you call the city up and find out the recreation director. Um, hunting down the people in charge is, is pretty easy for this type of situation. And then it just becomes an issue of finding out if they have a t-shirt provider, have they considered getting t-shirts, do they sell t-shirts, asking the right questions to the right people. Um, so parks and recreation are, are an easy people to hunt down, easy people to start asking questions. Uh, and of course these parks need, depending on what kind of park we're talking about, of course, if we're talking about a skate park, a skateboard park, then of course they need stickers, um, cinch bags are another great thing so they can transport stuff. Uh, the um, towels for the local swim parks, the community pools, that kind of stuff, and Mentor alone we have a couple community pools, uh, two or three at least. Um, hats. Uh, visors as well, koozies is still popular with these two. Um, so just some things to keep in mind. And of course, there's the summer sports tournaments at all these events. Now, you, if you've been with us for our webinars, you certainly know all the different ways you can decorate sports shirts. So uh, you can still take advantage of all that during these summer months as well. So um, We have a ton of examples for this here, actually. Uh, so on the far left, we've started with a fitness club, actually. So that's a great way to secure some business. The fitness fitness uh, community booms this time of year because everyone wants to get the summer shape. So a uh, great place to start. Um, any kind of beach, if you have a beach that's got a concession stand um, or any kind of concession area, uh, the perfect add-on for those concession areas is towels. Maybe not even t-shirts, but tank tops and towels, perfect beach gear. Uh, biking events too, there are a ton of biking events in our area. And again, it takes a little bit of searching to find your local biking community or hiking too. There's actually several hiking groups in our area. Um, you do a little bit of digging on the internet and you can find these biking and hiking groups. And it's the perfect in by contacting them and asking them, have they thought about shirts? Do they have a contact for shirts? Do you make shirts anywhere? So, um, Continuing that thought, now uh, another good example, the bottom right-hand corner, the 4-H. 4-H does a lot of stuff during the summer here. And of course, we know there's a lot of different 4-H clubs and groups out there. Uh, some of the clubs and groups do go so far as to make sure it's, that's something to keep your eyes out for. And a bunch of different biking designs here. Um, now, uh, again, the gentleman who's at the bottom on the left in the dark blue shirt, that is, uh, that is performance wear. And again, performance wear is not a problem. Actually, I believe the gentleman in the top middle is performance wear, too. Um, performance wear is no problem at all. We have a couple different products that work on that, depending on how much stretch you got going on. Uh, if you need something that is a contour, or not a contour, 
I'm sorry, uh, if you have something that is um, a very tight fit that's worn very tight to the body compression uh, type style, our CAD prints work for that very well. If it's something a little looser fit for these biking people, then we can do our Elasti print, still has a good stretch to it. So uh, we have a product for it regardless. And I think we got another one here. There we go. Uh, beaches, of course, the different beach ideas, beach wear, uh, beach towels are totally customizable, just like we talked about golf towels a couple minutes ago. Beach towels are equally as easy. Uh, again, and these don't tend to have a high pile to them either. Beach towels tend to have a very low pile. Uh, very, um, The fabric is not very tall and squishy, so very easy to decorate on. Um, and uh, swimsuits, swimsuits are very easy to do, like you see in the bottom right-hand corner there. Uh, the swimsuit has been decorated with our CAD print product. The CAD print opaque uh, sticks to spandex very nicely, so if it's a spandex-style swimsuit, or maybe it's just a nylon swim trunk or a loose-fit swimsuit, totally doable. So a lot of really fun ideas, uh, and of course summer colors too. I have to throw this out there. If you're doing summer shirts like this for beaches, for parties, for outdoor situations like this, you want to keep the colors bright, keep them summery. Uh, so we have a lot of great colors, our neon colors especially, our neon colors like you see uh, Jenna wearing in the top left corner there at Sundial Resort. Those are uh, neon pink, neon yellow, neon blue, great combo, looks great on that white t-shirt, sticks out very nicely. Uh, plus, if you're doing these outdoor parties and recreation, recreational type situations, parents generally want their kids easy to find. Uh, recreation departments want the kids easy to spot, so they will use shirts that are brightly colored for that, uh, for that exact reason, so the kids are easy to find. So uh, keeping in mind your color combinations. All right, so you've just seen a whole bunch of really great ideas and designs and all that stuff. The question is, is what happens when my customer doesn't have the artwork to make that happen? What, what, what happens when my customer comes to me and says, hey, I want a family reunion shirt, but I don't have a design? Uh, Transfer Express comes to your rescue then with our idea book. The Easy Prints idea book has hundreds upon hundreds, thousands of customizable designs. Uh, the designs all start generic with the words Compton. Uh, you simply choose the layout that you like change Compton to what you want it to say, change the layout, mix up the clip arts a little bit, put some stuff in, take some stuff out, and voila. Uh, throughout the webinar, I have showed you actually on all the slides, I've showed you the layout numbers that correspond with all the designs. Uh, so if you do want to go back, if you saw a design that caught your eye throughout the webinar today, the slides will be available on greatgarmentgraphics.com on the blog. So you can certainly uh, download our slides and take your time to go through these designs. All of these designs are on the website, uh, except for a couple noted as custom. So definitely, definitely uh, something to take advantage of. So you do not have to have the artwork. You don't have to have a graphic designer. Don't go out and buy Corel Draw and learn how to use it just for this. We will provide the artwork for you. So definitely hit us up at transferexpress.com. Check out the idea book, um, definitely if you're looking for an artwork source. So one more little thing to note here, taking your stuff on the road, taking your heat press, taking your shirts to events, uh, whether they be tournaments, uh, cheer tournaments, sports tournaments, camp situations, outdoor festivals, the county fair, regardless of what you're taking your heat press to, uh, there are a ton of events out there that you can take advantage of this. And again, the county fair, I think, is probably the easiest and most accessible way to do this. Local flea markets are another great way to go. You take your heat press to the event, you set up a tent, you have transfers and shirts that are not pre-pressed. Maybe you start off with some pressed just to get people's attention, like you've seen the examples here. But then you take a whole box of unpressed shirts and transfers and you do them on demand. Um, have some pre-made up customizable stuff too. For example, if you're doing a baseball tournament, take your baseball design, take your heat press to the event, take your baseball design, but have some uh, positions, for example, shortstop, catcher, pitcher, have some of those words pre-made up, pre-cut or pre-printed pre, uh, uh, on transfers so you can customize the shirts even further for the kids right there at the tournament. And a great way to do this is to say that, hey, here's my great baseball design for the tournament, and for an extra $3, I can put Little Timmy's position or Little Timmy's name on the shirt as well. So a great way to secure a couple extra bucks, and of course it's not costing you anywhere near that amount to actually do that. So great return on the investment. 
Okay, all right. So everybody who's stuck with us to the end here, here's the special I got for you. Uh, we've got the 4th of July coming around the corner here. Uh, we've got all of these great events starting to happen. Here at Transfer Express, we have uh, Transfer Extreme. These are full-color stock transfers. Uh, now, they're easily customized, too. If you purchase extra, uh, if you purchase a couple express names, you can always put express names or any other little transfers above and below these. So you can add text to these uh, by purchasing additional custom transfers. They don't have to be just these stock designs, but uh, the stock packs are normally sold for $24. Uh, for the webinar special, we're going to offer them to you for $20. That's 17% off. And with, again, with 4th of July right around the corner, you cannot go along with these. So uh, $20 for a pack of 10. It's only valid today, Thursday, and tomorrow, Friday. So just today and tomorrow, uh, call up our dealer services staff. Tell them that you uh, attended the webinar. Tell them that you attended the webinar and you want to order your transfer extreme. Uh, for $20 per pack, the reps will certainly take care of you. They know that the special is happening. So if you're interested, we invite you to try the Transfer Extreme to give it a whirl, uh, a great way to start your uh, summer customization decoration season. Okay, so we're starting to wrap up here now. Uh, Jody, if you're still with us, I don't know if we have a couple minutes to take any questions. We do, and we have a ton of questions. Great packed um, presentation, Andy. And we do have... You're welcome. A lot of questions. So I did explain to everybody that this um, is going to be recorded and it typically does post within 24 hours. I think everyone should have gotten that message. So if you didn't or if you came in later, this session will be recorded and you can find it at Great Garment Graphics. Um, so Carol would like to know how is a business, if you had any ideas on finding the contact person for family reunions or how can they promote themselves so re reunion organizers can find them? You know what, my experience with the family reunion situation is that you tend to get that business just by getting yourself out there. Family reunions uh, tend to happen through a couple different means. I, I know um, uh, sports shirts, if you do sports stuff for people during the year, getting yourself out there, uh, like if you do baseball team t-shirts, uh, and you continue to tell the baseball team, the parents, who you are, you put your information on there, the parents will hunt you down because they're, you're the person making the shirts for, you know, Little Timmy's baseball team. Uh, churches, too. Um, I, I've seen people who have done church shirts. Uh, suddenly the church members are coming back to that person wanting to do family reunion shirts. So family reunions are the types of things that you secure by putting yourself out there in the community by telling people who you are and what you do, they sort of come find you because there's no there's no easy way to figure out what family is doing a reunion when unless you're just going to throw darts at a uh, phone book and start calling people randomly. So getting your name out there is the easiest way to secure family reunion business. And what was the name of the company that you were referencing in order to buy apparel, the blanks? How uh, my my personal favorite is Broder Brothers. Mm -hmm. um, now, I know they're not the only one out there, and I'm sure everyone's got an opinion on this one, but I, I adore Broder Brothers. It's, if you've never witnessed them, it's www.broderbros.com. Uh, great place to start uh, in terms of getting blanks, and they've got a lot of really cool stuff. They keep up with the trends. They have a lot of really neat things to offer, and sometimes that's all you need to secure those church festivals, the walk events, the family stuff, just some kind of cool blank that's not just a regular run-of-the-mill something, something that's just a little extra pizzazz, you know. I agree. They have great customer service, too. Yes, they do. So what type of ink for golf towels? And we had a couple of people asking about the towels. Some of our audience even thinks um, is under the conception that you can't decorate a golf towel. Oh, good Lord. No, you know, actually, <laughs> I, 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 I can't say anything about that because uh, we get that question a lot over the phone. Um, I think people just aren't used to the idea because we don't do a lot of that except for during the summer. No, no, towels are very customizable, and they're the perfect add-on this time of year. Again, Broder Brothers actually sells beach towels now, so you can get great blank beach towels from Broder Brothers. Um, 
the whole idea is, uh, my personal opinion, I love our goof-proof transfer type on towels because goof-proof will work regardless of uh, how high the pile is. If it's a terry cloth with a deep pile, if it's a more cheaply made towel that's a little bit lower pile, a goof-proof goes on all of it. Um, if you have a low pile towel, you can't take advantage of hot split. That will work too. And of course, our CAD print product goes on everything. So uh, regardless of what you got, those towels, you got a bunch of options. And how do they stand up in the wash? Uh, just like a t-shirt. Um, I, I have never had a problem with towels. Uh, um, again, if you, if you press it according to the instructions, if you if you're going to blast the towel in the dryer every day for weeks upon weeks, it's going to crack eventually. Crack eventually you know? um, but if you, launder it, if you launder it with care, if you launder it uh, just periodically, the towels will last forever. It's just like, just like a t-shirt. Uh, don't think of it any differently than a t-shirt you would press. And does the CAD Prints Clear have to go on a white t-shirt? Cad Prince Clear does have to go on a white T-shirt. Um, I I love Cad Prince Clear personally for this time of year because I I, I tend to like I tend to like things that breathe. This is just me, but I, I like things that breathe. Cad Prince Clear breathes very nicely. I tend to forget I'm even wearing a shirt that has Cad Prince Clear on it because it's so thin. Um, and the Crystal Clear is a, a cost-saving example of that too. Crystal Clear is a little bit thicker, not by much. Uh, but both of those products uh, do have to go on white garments because they're not opaque. Okay. And um, we'll just get to a couple more questions. A price of $25 was, you had mentioned, in connection to the CAD prints. I'm assuming maybe that was mm -hmm. the bid kit or... Um, uh, that was actually the minimum. Uh, when you're The minimum of 25 print, Exactly. When you're ordering CAD prints, it's $25 minimum for the order. Perfect. And then Susan wanted to know, how do you stay competitive price-wise with screen printers on pricing t-shirts for large groups? Oh, Susan, that's, that's the, that's the $25,000 question. Isn't it though? <laughs> um, you know what? I, there's no perfect, there's no perfect solution to that because it sort of depends on where you live and it depends on your competition. Um, but just some, some tips and some tricks for you. Uh, the, the best way to stay competitive is to actually get the return customers. And how do you get the return customers? You get return customers by taking a little bit of cut when you offer their first order. So if you've got an event, if you've got a summer camp or a family or a church group or something like that, get their first order by, by lowering your cost just a little bit. Find, find a... Um, one of the items, part of your overhead, find something to trim the cost just a little bit, offer it to them at a little bit of a lower price, so when they come back next year, their first, their first option is going to be to come to you. Secure their business, and then you can gently increase your profits from there. Uh, that's one great way to start. Um, plus, the other good direction to go with this, Susan, too, is you have an advantage over the screen printers because when you use your heat press, you're not committing stock. You're not actually a screen printer. If a screen printer is going to do an event, they have to print a whole slew of t-shirts. And if they don't sell those shirts, they're in trouble. Uh, if you are using your heat press, you're not committing all those shirts. You're only pressing the ones you need. So you're saving cash right off the bat. That's a great place to start that sales. And is there an extra charge to print neons? Oh, good question. No, uh, the neon colors are all regular price, just like everything else. And we've got uh, neon lime, neon green, uh, neon pink, neon blue, neon yellow, and neon orange. And final question, do you send out samples of window clings and bumper stickers? We certainly do. Uh, any of those non-apparel products, folks, that you want to give it a try, you want to take one home and mess with it to see if it's what you want, give us a call. We will certainly send you a sample of any of those non-apparel products. Great. And we did have Pam wrote in um, that she's a new business owner, just started her business in April, and it's going really well. We were typing back and forth. And, um, and so for all of you new business owners or, you know, joining our webinar, that's what we live for here at Great Garment Graphics, to see your businesses um, become successful. Certainly. I agree completely. Congratulations, Pam. That's always yes. a good thing to hear. That, that means that Jody and I are doing what we do correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Our small part. You know? um, 
So that's all I have as far as questions go. There's a couple, if we didn't have a chance to answer your question, then Transfer Express will definitely be answering your questions shortly, and they'll email you um, since we are running out of time. We certainly will. Uh, so don't forget, everybody, the special that we've got going for those transfer extreme packs. If you want your $20 transfer extreme pack, $4 less, tell the representative when you order it that you attended the webinar, you want the webinar special. Um, so definitely check that out. And uh, for those of you who want to join us again, I will be back with you on Tuesday, July 9th. We're going to talk about uh, how to create tourist sales. Uh, but uh, the next great garment graphics webinar is June 18th. How do you do it? Picking the right garment decoration process and materials. So thank you everybody for attending today. It's always a pleasure to talk to you out there in listing land. Thank you, Jody, for having me. And everybody have a fantastic rest of your day. Yes. Thank you for joining us, Sandy. Thanks.